Welcome everyone. Do you remember when I created my vision board many months ago? Well, this is how it's all decorated out. Okay guys, I want to share this room with you. This is our little mud room. This is what we have so far. That closet, I call it a coat closet, but it has had some shelves put in it and all of the extra stuff for the laundry room, some cleaning supplies was placed in there. So those shelves are gonna come out and my vacuum is going to be stored in there along with some winter coats maybe to grab on the way out the door. Now I did put up the little shelf and the little tobacco basket and the wreath and eventually we will get to this room we're going to add a little bench right there now, but I'm going to share with you my laundry room. And this is what I have done so far. And right here on this wall, this is where my Dyson vacuum cleaner, it will go back on this wall. There's already a couple of little holes where it was before. I ordered that little laundry basket from Amazon.com. It is in my Amazon storefront if it's something you may be looking for. Those are really cute also to put pillows and blankets in, in the living room, bedroom, or I love it right here in my laundry room. And then here's the butcher block top I added if you remember, I don't know if I shared, but I got this humongous, I call it lemonade or tea jar. And guys, just for us, that is way too much to make. So I put my liquid Todd in there. And if you remember, I got the coaster that I picked up at a thrift haul. And I have the little cup just sitting there to catch any drips and I brought in the cotton stems in the galvanized little milk bucket. There is some little linen towels. I'm actually gonna weave them because as I find things and I'm thrifting, I'm gonna add two, so I'm not just gonna fill them up with anything. And then the vintage washboard is something that I thrifted. I shared with you a while back in one of my uh, thrift hauls and that sign I believe I got that from Hobby Lobby uh, I'm pretty sure I did and over here on this wall is just a little hook that holds the hangers and I put this little metal tin there to protect the wall from the hangers butting up against it and coming on back around that is the door that my husband made and there's a hot water heater behind there and if we have to get to it we just have to lift that door off but it really does give a great look and then on the side we've got the butcher block to give it support we have added the black iron pipes to go with the ones up above here on the wall so coming on around if you remember, I took this cabinet down when we remodeled our kitchen. And so here it is placed up there. That is my Clorox bottle I thrifted. I think it's from the 50s. And I just added a little summertime floral in there. And back there is the little vintage blocks. Wash, dry, and fold. And then in the Montana jar, I have some old clothes pins. I have a couple of other vintage items to go in here that I haven't got hung up yet. But as I add to, I will definitely let you know. And this wall switch is going to be converted into an outlet. Uh, we just haven't got that done. Mr. Fix-It will work on that and get that done where it will be an outlet instead of a switch. And then of course, you, if you remember, 
the vent was moved up so that those cabinets could go in. And then we also did the flooring. So let me step back and see if I can get you. Oh, on my door, I almost forgot. Uh, over here on this door, I got this little, it's like a cast iron, painted cast iron laundry sign I put on the door. And then right behind the door is another one of the uh, iron hooks for me to hang clothing on and then just put them away and that way I don't have to handle all the clothing twice, folding it and then going in and hanging it up. So this is definitely very, very functional. So let me share what I've done so far inside my cabinets. Let me open these up. Okay, on the first shelf, I have my iron and my starch and then my shout and just some other things, a few cleaning items up there and the most of uh, the unused items that we don't need very often is being put at the very top because I do have to get a step stool. And that's what I've got in there so far. So a few more items will be added. And then down at the bottom, I do have my extra Tide and Downy. And I'm gonna get Mr. Fix-It to get that drawer out from back there because I have I think about four more of these to try to fit in there. Hopefully we can. And I do keep the little pods when we go on vacation at the cabin. Uh, then, you know, those are just so easy uh, to take along with us. Over here, you'll see a dust mop uh, back there on the shelf and my uh, bleach and a couple of a uh, cleaning supply and also there is one of those uh, folding where you can lay your shirts on there and fold it up very neatly. So now I'm going to have space to use that again on this countertop up here. Uh, in this drawer, I just have my dryer sheet so far. In this drawer, I have some cleaning uh, cloths and some cleaning latex gloves to grab. This drawer has my Swiffer dusters back there. And here is the trash bags that we use for our kitchen. And here I just have my steamer. And in this drawer up here, so far I just have my command hooks. So I do have a couple more items to to bring in, yeah. but the, here it is, and this is all that I have uh, done so far. I am really, guys, enjoying going in my laundry room and spending some time in there, and it's very functional now. That door is gone and storage space is added. A little folding area, a new light fixture up there it makes it all bright. And I am just loving this space now. But that's what I have so far and thought I would share that with you guys and what I have decorated so far. So I just want to say thank you uh, to those of you who have come back and viewed my video and if you're new here by the way my name is Rebecca hit that subscribe button if you like and consider sticking around I have lots more videos so guys until my next video you have a great day and I hope that God blesses your day and your week and your year until my next video. Bye, guys.